Hey foundations and computer people, it is time for your first screencast. All right, I'm going to go over real fast your operating system, uh, how to access programs, open them up, uh, also get into the control panel. Um, how do you open up an application? What is an application? Well, an application is any program you want to run on your computer. Um, and how you get there depends on what computer you're using. So, for example, if you're using a Windows machine that's running Microsoft uh, Windows 8, for instance, let's see here, you would need to click on this little icon in the bottom corner here. It'll pop up a page that looks basically like this, and then from there, you click on another arrow, you can see right here, down at the bottom, and that arrow will take you to another screen that looks basically like this screen here. And from there, you can select your application. It's kind of complicated, so they did away with it in the new version of Windows, Windows 10. So with Windows 10, what you do is click on that icon, and it just brings up your start menu, just like in previous versions of Windows, because it's a nice option to have and less of a pain in the butt. So what we got here are all of the programs you could possibly want to run and if you can't find a program you can always search for that program by going down to your search option which can be found right here you click on it and you type in what you're looking for and it should be able to find it for you uh, your other search option is in your file explorer which uh, you click on and open here open on the in my other screen here. Let me pull it over for you. There you go. And this also has a search option here. So if you're looking to find things, you can search using File Explorer or your Start Menu. Uh, start Menu is usually faster and easier place to, to go for that. Um, if you're using a Macintosh or a Linux machine, uh, the, it's going to be very similar. You're going to have uh, something like a Start Menu. Uh, Macintosh computers tend to have the thing called the Finder at the bottom, uh, and Linux computers, uh, you can run, they've got a lot of different options, I'm not going to go into them, but um, it, it's also a, a visual interface, so it's not going to be too completely different from your traditional Windows. Um, so that's a brief overview on how you tur basically turn on programs. You click on your your start menu and then you browse to the program and it should be here if it's not here you can search for it if you search for it and it doesn't come up it means it's not installed on your computer as simple as that um, control panel okay so the control panel there's a couple of different ways to get to it um, sometimes it's right on your desktop so for instance I've got a link to it right on my desktop I can just double click on it and go right into my control panel uh, another way to access it is through your uh, start menu again. You go down here. Um, I think there's a there's a settings button right here, which looks funky, but it is actually just a back door to your control panel. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. See, I've got control panel right here. If I double click on control panel, it opens up this. You see how these buttons look different, but they have the same names: system, system. Devices, devices, network and internet, network and internet. So uh, again, this is just a back door to your control panel, and you can access that just by clicking on this little gear right there. Of course, if you want to go full control panel uh, and you just you don't like the way that interface looks, you can always go to your search option, type in control. Oh look, it's the first thing that pops up: control panel and you get your control panel that way. Um, so that's basic overview of your operating system, how to open folders and files, and how to get to your control panel should you need to do something to the computer. Now we're going to show you a lot more about what to do with the control panel, what to do with these uh, applications later, but this is uh, just your first video, so enjoy. Uh, we'll keep it short here. Uh, hope you learned something. If not, well, you got a whole bunch more videos to go. So uh, take it easy, and good luck computing.